they put students here three must knows as we move from period six to period seven so let's contextualize first we'll start period seven by talking about american imperialism which definitely ties back to what we talked about in period six as the gilded age unfolded american economic prosperity fueled a desire for global influence american businesses sought raw materials and new markets to sell its goods to so it looked outside its borders economic interest in latin america and the pacific set the stage for the expansionist policies that defined the early years of period seven which we call the age of imperialism so when we're talking about american imperialism know that it's a story that started brewing in the Gilded Age. Second, let's face the reality of the Gilded Age. It wasn't all glitz and glamour. In fact, we learned that it was far from it. We had worker exploitation and political corruption was rampant. Also, cities were overcrowded, full of crime and downright filthy. Enter the heroes of the progressive era. The progressives emerged as the reformers of their time. They sought to address the social and political problems that plagued America in the Gilded Age. They championed workers' rights, fought against corrupt political machines, and advocated for urban reforms. And in fact, many of the ideas that were started by the populists in period six, like the graduated income tax, or the direct election of senators, well, progressives will help make those a reality. So the transition from Gilded Age problems to progressive era solutions were a pivotal moment in our nation's history. And finally, remember all those factories that were built during period six? Well, they'll become the unsung heroes of the global conflicts that take place in period seven. I'm talking about World War One and World War II. The industries and factories that rose to prominence during the Gilded Age laid the groundwork for America's ability to mass produce during wartime. Oh, and don't forget all of those railroads that were laid during period six. They weren't just for scenic rides. They were the backbone of getting things done. Troops, gear, supplies, you name it, the railroads made it happen, making mobilization a breeze. And guess what? Even those farmers that we talked about on the Great Plains pitched in to help feed the troops during both world wars. And believe me, that was no easy job. So good luck in A-Push period seven. And as always, for more A-Push, help make sure you check out the Ultimate Review Packet.